Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. So I'd love it if you would just tell me what your name is and what it is that you do. Like at school? Like yeah. I say I'm a student? All right. Yeah, you can say you're a student, you're, what your major is, and okay. your sport. So okay. tell us your name. I'm Zach. I play football at Ithaca College, and I'm a television radio student. Great. So, Zach, um, we are bombarded by the media in terms of uh, what is this, this, this ideal of male and female beauty. Mm -hmm. And uh, could you describe to me what... Um, <laughs> Uh, could you describe to me what images you are uh, you see daily in terms of the media about what is the ideal of beauty, male or female, or both? Um, I think when it comes to being like a man, mm -hmm. you know, men are expected to be masculine, of course. You know, big, muscular guys. Um, I, I don't know. It's kind of how it's always been. Like especially like like since Greek times, they used to make this the sculptures um, with with you know naked men looking muscular, um, and with women, I, I guess women are always supposed to be you know curvy. I guess I don't, I don't know. I don't, it's, a, it's a tough question. It's hard to hard to I answer. I guess so, but okay. For you, uh, based on <coughs> your, your information from the media, what would be the ideal of a female to you, based on what you've received from the uh, from media? Well, I mean, she's got to be pretty. Uh, pretty, like beauty is a hard word to like describe because it's just you look at something, you say, "Oh, that's beautiful." She's beautiful. It's I don't know, maybe maybe it has to do with symmetry. Um, I don't know. So she'd have a, have to have a pretty face. Um, okay. Yeah. What about for guys, for men? Uh, and you said men. men it's, it's harder for men because. Um, so many, so much trends with women, they change over the years, but men have stayed relatively the same, I think. Like, a man is always, I guess, just supposed to be muscular and, I, I guess, handsome, but that's about it. There's nothing like he has to be too skinny or whatever, like, with girls. So, in terms of your sport, <coughs> what is the male, uh, what is the, 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 the ideal for a football player? Well, football is a tough sport because um, with so many different positions, you know, guys have different weights. Like, if you look at an offensive lineman compared to a defensive back, they'd have two different body types. Like, offensive linemen tend to be heavier because that's what they need to do as their position, whereas, like, a defensive back needs to be fast. So, um, so they would have to, you know, not be as heavy, <laughs> I guess. When you look in the mirror, <clears throat> do you feel that you fit any of those male ideals? Those masculine ideals. Um, I, don't, I don't know about I don't know about fit yet. <laughs> okay, so in terms of what do you see when you look in the mirror and go, okay, I need to. This needs to be this way. This needs to be, and this needs to be, and this needs to be. Well, I mean, I think everybody has those things that they wish they could improve on. Like, I mean, I wish I didn't have so much going on down here, you know. Um, um, but and, and it varies too. Sometimes, like, wow, it's a good looking dude. Other times, we'll be like. Come on, man, what are you doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. um, in terms of uh, celebrities or sports figures or any type of uh, performer, when you think of, wow, I would really like to look like that guy, at some point in your life, did you ever hit a, you know, think about, I really want to look like that guy? Um, well, I, th I think a classic example would be like, I don't know, like, 1970s Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was in his prime then. He was looking, he was looking good. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Now you got like The Rock, but he's all like steroided up. You know. So um, you want it natural. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Great. Now, in terms of going away from the physical, um, in terms of their works, in terms of things that they've done to have an impact on society, who do you aspire to be like? Um, well, I love film, um, and I love uh, directing. I, I don't know the term for it. I think it's like, I think it's called auteurism. I don't, I don't know if I butchered that, but it, it's like when a director has a specific um, style. Like, I love Quentin Tarantino. You know, I love Christopher Nolan. I love Stanley Kubrick. Those, you know, directors that definitely have a style. 
when it comes to film. Um, what I, impact, I, like what they've done to have an impact on society, um, foundations or things that they've done that made a difference in somebody's life. Who um, do you aspire to be like? I don't know, that's tough. I, um, I have like a top three list of like, Go for like, it, tell like us. Like famous people, not, not necessarily famous people, but people that I'd like to meet one day. Okay. Um, I, I said Kanye West, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Quentin Tarantino. Because those are my, some of my three favorite. I think they've uh, all made um, so efforts. So when we talk about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. What, what is something that he's done that you feel like has had a major impact on society? Um, I mean, he's a science educator, and I feel like, at least today, there's not enough um, emphasis on um, being smart, <laughs> in a way. So I think he's, he brings awareness, at least for me, um, to like the bigger questions. Like, I, I didn't know anything about space until Neil deGrasse Tyson. I watched um, Cosmos, and you really began to realize how infinite our universe is, you know? And I wish, I wish that was a bigger thing in our society. Uh, the last thing I want you to do is look directly into the camera and say, I see beyond, is it I see beyond body? I see beyond body because, and then in terms of who you are as a human being, beyond the physical, who you are as a human being, or who you see as the best of a human being. So say to the camera, I see beyond body because. because, and then say something. And then say something. Oh my gosh, this is tough. I have to think about this. <laughs> um, I don't want you to think about it though. I just want you to top of your head. Like you said, Neil deGrasse Tyson, because science should be more important. That's so. That's good right there. Yeah. Science should be more important. Yeah, okay. Because science should be more important? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Or, the, or thinking. Okay. Okay. Um, when you're ready. I see beyond the body because. <clears throat> okay, I see beyond the body because science is important. Let's do it again. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Okay, so think in terms oh. of, I'll, I'll help you out because I love what you were saying about him. Uh, it's it's really about the mind and what the mind can do to have an effect on society. So being a thinker is more important than than how looking you look. good. Yeah. Okay. So, how, how can we put that into words? Just you can say. I see beyond body. I see, I see beyond body because being a thinker is important. Is or more important is more important than how you look. Okay. Okay. All right. When you're ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see beyond body because being a thinker is more important than how you look. Cool. All right, is that it? We good? All right. Oh, Thank you so that was tough. much. That was tough. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. My no, hands are sweaty now. No, I'm give sorry. me a hug. <laughs> oh, that was great. Thank you okay. so much. Yeah. Thank so, you for having me. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank right. you.